All right, hey guys, my name is Virus, and welcome back to the channel. And uh, yeah, today we're already back with another top tier Russian MBT, and this one is just plastered with ERA bricks, and I love it. It looks so good. I love the T72s. I love the T90, uh, and the T72B3s. They've been announced and have been confirmed. I was just on the dev server, and in fact. Not even 30 seconds into trying my first T-72, this happened. Oh god, cut, cut the clip, cut the clip! And I thought, hey, it made a lot of sense considering these new tanks are gonna come after the T-72B, obviously. And uh, people are gonna be grinding them out, so I thought, hey, maybe I'll give them a little push a little convincing that uh, this line is definitely worth it uh this branch i should say while i don't think this is going to be the case for the t72b in this video uh in the future when the t72b3 and those things come out they're gonna be great backups this thing on its own is just a superb tank at 97 you've got basically a better t64b i mean you've got a great gun at 97 you've got uh, amazing armor, you've got the ERA bricks, and the mobility isn't even that bad either. Uh, the only real complaint I have with the mobility is turning sometimes can be a little bit of a pain, and the reverse speed, it's like 5 kilometers an hour or something stupid. Um, but <laughs> other than that, this is a great tank, and in the future, once those new T-72s come out, this uh, lineup with just the T-72s, it's going to be such a fun lineup to take. With the T-80U, the uh, T-72B3, all of those. All of those are going to be great. And so I highly recommend if you haven't grinded these things out and you're close to them, that you try and pound these out. Because uh, the T-72B3 is looking like it's going to be an amazing tank as well. Right, you've got mostly Americans that you're facing. Uh, sometimes you'll run into the uh, entire NATO team or whatever and you have China on your team. But for the most part... You're fighting the Americans and the Germans, right? None of those really have rounds that can just lull pen the front of you because the T-72B finally has good enough armor uh, to stop those types of rounds. Like I'm talking M829, uh, DM, is it 33 or 43? I can't remember which one the Leopard 2A5 has. It's 33. But it can't pen on the sides of the hull here, or not the sides, but the sides of the front plate. Obviously, you got the driver's hatch and stuff like that. That's an obvious weak spot for Russian MBTs. But uh, the front plate is finally uh, a little bit more resistant to those types of shells, so that's always handy. Now, another thing that is might seem minor, but is actually kind of really nice, is that it has 6 degrees of gun depression instead of 5. So it just adds a little bit more versatility. Say if we take the T-80U here, it has negative five degrees of gun depression. It can be a little bit annoying to deal with, right? There are just some ridges that's that you just can't play. Well, the T-72 gets that extra degree, and honestly, it's pretty noticeable. It's a lot easier to play those ridge lines. You aren't getting as frustrated when you're trying to push around a corner or something that's on a slight incline, and your gun's aiming up in the sky, and so you don't really run into that problem. Now, the reloading rate is not the T-80U reload, which is 6.5 seconds auto-loaded. This is the 7.1 second reload, which is just like the T-64B and the T-64A, and uh, even the T-80B. So, you've kind of got a slower reload, but keep in mind, this is 9.7. This, this can go down to 8.7, and I have an 8.7 battle that I just absolutely dominate, which I'm going to show first here in a second, but... This gun, this tank, and this gun is just perfect for where it's at because it's the same gun that's on the T-80U, so it can deal with the 10.7s. And then you've got that gun, and you bring it down to 8.7, and you just pen everything and do so much damage because it's such a like fast and just huge shell, I guess you could say. Even though obviously it's an APFSDS shell, so it's not like big, but you, you get what I mean. But yeah, it's a great tank. Uh, I had a lot of fun making the video today, so hopefully you guys enjoyed as well. But without further ado, let's hop into the first battle. Wow, is this a 9.7 to 8.7 match? Because we got a 279, unless that guy's bringing it into a uh, up tier. No, we got another one. I think we got lucky. What would we be facing? Leopard A1A1s? Oh god. I mean, they can technically still pen us, right? Especially if they have the dart, but... 
Thing is, I'm not so worried about uh, them penning, or me not penning them, sorry. Uh, let's play the outside here. Hopefully we don't get shot. I don't think we can. Okay. Let's play the outside. Uh, that was another thing I don't want to see. What was it? Because it was whizzing. Alright. There's an OF. There's another one. Oh my god, there's another one. Holy... What's going on? Uh... There was another one. There's still one more. There he is. He's in here, he's pushing this guy. Okay, let's hold on. Let's get our gun around. Uh, that guy might be in the boosted position. Uh, that's an L44. I tried to get his his ammo. Oh wait, we almost killed it. Holy wait, do you think we can? I can't push because they're holding this 100%. Yeah, there's somebody on that corner there. Okay, we should not have gotten that. L44 is dead as well. Yo, this is crazy. I should be so dead right now. I just got shot in the back. Come on, gun. Oh, it really needed to fire there. Run. Just run. I got my engine smoke on right now, but the thermals can see right through it. As long as they don't come around this corner, I have 25 seconds left. We got the guy right beside us. I should have backed up a little bit. Okay, so there's somebody behind that building as well. Dead. APZ is dead. There's no way we live here, right? I think they got the OF as well. Holy, I think we lived. For how much longer, that's the question, but that was an insane fight. How many did we actually pick up there? Four? That was only four? Okay. Okay, okay, we gotta keep on. Unless we get killed by a G91 here. Alright, let's sneak in here. I heard him at the last second there. Thankfully, we angled just enough that he wasn't able to go straight through our sides. He should have shot an ATGM there. Maybe he was out or reloading. They are on A. Let's see, where's he gonna be? There he is. Oh! I don't know if he saw me or pulled back just in time. Let's see what he does. What'd that get? The engine and the gunner. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Free kill. Free kill.
Oh no. Oh, he actually got my barrel. Wow. I don't think he can get behind us. I'm worried. I'm more worried about someone coming to, uh, to help him. Well, he tried and I respect the effort. see I mean this is basically cleanup time now I mean they have G91s up so I'm probably gonna die by that oh and we got this guy whoa my keyboard has been doing some weird double tap thing so if you see me aim in and out really quick that's, that's the keyboard let's just chill here make sure this guy can get his repair off Holy moly, we have eight kills. This is, uh, this is by far my best match I've had in this tank, like, to date. I got so lucky at the beginning there. I th think it's gonna be over. Like, uh, this should just be the end. They still have quite a few people alive, considering. Uh, they're probably all in jets, helicopters, and AAs. Oh boy, I still think we need to play one more though. So let's get into another one, shall we? Gonna watch that hill, make sure no one tries to peek us. Actually, I wonder, cause someone's gotta go up there, right? Maybe we can make it our, our number one job. Somebody's grinding the Apaches. Oh, oh, wait, 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 beep, beep, beep. There we go. Challenger 2F. See? 10.7. If we just had a faster reload there. Ooh. Oh, yeah, this thing shoots at the shells. That was lucky. That was way too low. I went to flick up. And, uh,. Kind of dipped the shell there. It's fine, we still hit him. We still hit him. Keep on going, keep on going. I knew someone would go up there. They gotta. Especially the allies. Okay. Me and this 2A4, we're gonna push. With this other two, T72B. Just see someone there is my actually seeing things. All right. Oh, he just got smacked from the left somewhere. Oh. Oh, I saw where it came from, but I couldn't help him. Ah, uh, I was really hoping that shell would pass through and hit his ammo. I think they're both disabled. I think we can push this guy. He wasn't disabled in the slightest, but... Yeah. Got his engine. He won't be going anywhere anytime soon. And he has a friend. Oh, I bounced or I missed. That's smoke. I mashed all my buttons. What was that? Oh, it was one of those 
HSTVLs. I am like halfway to that thing, I think. I can't wait to get it. It looks like it's a lot of fun, but from what I've heard, actually, uh, it's not. <laughs> but it looks like a cool vehicle. So I'm going to try it anyway. Now, is that an Apache trying to chain gun me? Or is it that uh, Turkish M60? I'm going to guess M60. Oh, God. Chill out. Two way four needs help. We need to help this guy. We're spotted on the map, but if we can kill this man and then go up. Okay, let's smoke because this is their spawn. I didn't want to do that, but the guy was getting shot. So. <laughs> let's make like a tree and shake. Oh god, there's an ADATS right behind me. No one knows where that came from, yeah. Uh, you guys have fun with that. I'm just not gonna deal with it. Oh well, well, it doesn't matter, we cap. <laughs> Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on the T-72B. Hopefully it gets you guys a little bit excited for the new patch coming soon. Uh, hopefully it inspires you guys to grind it as well, because this tank is probably the most fun I've had in a Russian MBT ever. Because, as you guys know, if you watch the other video, I'm not very good in the T-80U because I was playing it wrong, right? You guys gave me a lot of tips. Just want to say a huge thank you for all the tips that you guys left on that video. Uh, I hopefully incorporated some of them in today's video with the T-72B. But I feel like this tank is just a lot more forgiving with its battle rating for one thing. And uh, I don't... Why do I feel like the gun depression just makes it so much better? It's some kind of weird placebo. I don't know. I love gun depression. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video on the T-72B. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.